Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brandon, and uh, welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, so, if you guys remember, I actually haven't played this in like two days, so I kind of forgot what I... Or no, 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 I didn't. Um, we got we got rid of Monica for, for crying out loud, and everyone else is back, but Monica has for some reason disappeared. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna load up a new game. And uh, yeah. What's gonna happen here? It's an ordinary school day, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. So Yori's back. Hey Brandon. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. Are you proud of me? Huh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Brandon, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Hello? Actually, yeah, I think I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo, you meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. When Sayuri puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Exactly what you should do for your couple. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, gathering my motivation... Wait, I stand up, getting, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Brandon, well, what are you doing here? Well, I just, huh? I glance around the room. Huh, so you're the Brandon that Sayuri's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. Yuri, are you- are you- are you fucked up like you are? Like in the other acts? If they're even called acts at all? It's a pleasure to meet you, Brandon. We're at the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. Look forward to working with you. Working? But Brandon, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is your Sayuri. The Literature Club. Sayuri's eyes light up. No way. No way! Ah! Oh boy. Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up. Go back to this again. Check this fucking shit out! I'm still scared of what's gonna happen. Just saying. Hey. <laughs> well, if Sayuri is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. 
<laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah, after all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whispers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna say- oh wow. Okay, our saves got... deleted? Huh, okay. So cute! <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, those look amazing. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. So Yuri grabs one first, and then I follow. It's delicious! Siri talks with her mouth full and art has excuse me, has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Oh my god, why does she look so cute when she does that? As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? That, that's not... Insulted Yuri looked away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy, enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Brandon, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter, really qui I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh yeah, that's right, she loves manga. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Oh my lord. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way that her light, her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri? Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Brandon wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Brandon? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayuri jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing the literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? 
Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. And as for Yuri... Huh? I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for dis disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, uh, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I realize my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Oh my goodness. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. D just you? Um, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Say Yuri, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Brandon. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around Sayuri. Aw, Brandon. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now, because I'm still kind of worried that something's gonna fuck up. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! And now that you join, every day is gonna be so fun. The music stopped. The music. Hey Brandon, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> what? What? There's actually something else. What? I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Me. Oh my god. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Brandon. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters now. It's just us now. Okay. Alright. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. No, God, no, why are we doing this again? 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 Forever and ever? I've been betrayed. Oh my god. F O O E V E. What? No? Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who is this? Is this Monica? Who? It, it hurts. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayuri. Goodbye, Brandon. Goodbye, Literature Club.
What's this? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano? Is and this stuff? Monica? And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But, I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. So Monica is still here. Oh my god, she's playing the audio. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a song. That's the end of the game? I mean, this song is lit. This song is lit. Oh! That's the end of the game. What? Oh, wait, what? No, why you gotta delete that? Oh, this is something I haven't seen before. Oh. Aw, oh, come on, why you gotta do that? This song is so good. What the heck? This music is so good too. Is it love? If I take your is it love? If I set you free. I don't know. Oh, look at that. The ink flows down into a dark puddle. How can I write love into reality? If I can't hear the sound of your heart. Special thanks, Monica. Bank. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're deleting everything? Made with Love by Team Salvato. Oh. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Whoa! Oh, that's the game! Wait, what if I reload it? Does it work if I reload it? Because it said, please reinstall the game. Okay. Um, okay. 
Oh, that's it. That's actually it. Wow. That's actually it. Okay. So. That was an astounding game. I have nothing else to say about it. It's so good. Like, it turned out like... Like, I'm pretty sure I said in one of these uh, videos, but... They weren't they weren't lying to put down psychological horror for this uh for this game as a tag because what this is so good. This is so good. I love it. I love this game so much. So it started out as a uh, visual novel and it's like normal and all that, but sooner or later it started uh to get like creepier and don't ask why, but I love creepy because that's me. I don't know. But anyways, that was Doki Doki Literature Club. I absolutely love this game, but I don't think I'm going to find all the endings unless you guys absolutely want me to. But, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's insane. So... I guess that's it so that's gonna be Doki Doki Literature Club thank you guys so much for watching this series if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more horror games like this then be sure to hit that like button down below and uh, I don't really care but if you do subscribe it really helps on my channel I'm honestly gonna be really sad to see this series go cuz I'm gonna be honest I actually enjoyed this more than playing Pokemon on my channel I'm gonna be dead serious about this. Like, I wanted to keep this until the end of the game. And, yeah, this is it. I don't know. I'm gonna miss this game. A lot. So anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Peace.